Okay, I have my equipment set up in the room, and now I'm going to go check out my breaker box, and I'm going to see where I think I have the available power um, and which breakers are powering which areas of the house so that I'll know where to plug the separate extension cords in into the separate uh, heating elements in the heater. Typically, you're going to find your breaker panels or your breaker boxes, they're gonna be on the outside of a home, a regular single family dwelling. Um, if you have an apartment, they're gonna be typically in the master bedroom closet, sometimes behind the master bedroom uh, door, and if they have a laundry room, uh, potentially there. And in single and double wide uh, mobile homes, they are generally in the laundry area. So this one here is a single family home, so the breaker panel is outside and around the corner, so let's go take a look at it. So these are all 110 breakers, so 110 volt breakers. And right here you can see lighting is from there to there. Here's a 20 amp circuit right here, and these are 15 amp circuits there. And you can tell because it's written right on top of the actual individual breakers what their value is as far as amperage. There's clearly plenty of power in this house to power for uh, 15 amp circuits and enough for the fans, but we're gonna have to pull from different areas of the house. But that's how you're able to tell whether you have 15 amp breakers or 20 amp breakers and how many of each that you might have.